road. <laughs> Hello, little Miss Daisy. Hello, Daddy. So, you've been a good girl this year? Yeah. Yeah? Because you know Santa only comes if you've been a good girl. Yeah. Okay. And what drove he brings you this year? A real life pony. A pony? But isn't a pony a little bit big to fit in your garden? Where are you going to put it? In my room. In your room? Yeah. Okay. Where's all our friends? She doesn't have a lot since they all started going to this after-school ballet class. So? Why is she going? It's nice you want to be in her life, Mark. Didn't think we'd hang around, to be honest. Thought we'd be off by now. I'm not going anywhere. I've got a letter from the council. They want to rehome us something about Birmingham. Birmingham? You don't know anyone there. We're not going. We're saving every penny. See what happens. I'm told you haven't been at the hostel. You know it's for your own good to stay there, don't you? I need to work. Well, you need a fixed address, then. I'm not looking for handouts. I just want a job. If you can find me a job, but... If you can't be trusted to be in the same place you say you're going to be, there's really nothing I can do to help you. I'm not just here just to give out handouts. I need you to help yourself. But it has to be done inside the system. Lunch sorted then. Oh, fucking hell! I never thought we'd see each other again. You look like you've seen a ghost. Been a while, man. Too long. Tom is fast. But as for you, what, 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 <laughs> what are you doing here? Same as you, getting splinters for shit money. I ain't afraid of a bitch. Surprised to see you doing all this. Got debts. What is Sutton doing this? It's cashing out, though. It's loose change, mate. Every penny counts. But you're a pauper. And you're forgetting something. It's all packed up, mate. It's what if I take some of these with me? Yeah, yeah, take whatever you want, mate. Um, I had to take a bit off, because obviously you're using the tools, all right? You don't have to hang around, you know. 
I'm all right on my own. It's a pleasure to be here, Mark. Right. Reckon me and you can make some serious money if we put our heads together. Yeah, right. Do a job. You know, a proper job. Nice and quick. Fuck off to Spain, away from this shithole. Like you used to speak about inside. We had to talk. Because we had nothing else. I've got a daughter, Alan. I can't just shoot off. Just think about it. The good lie. You deserve it. We both do. Pick me up in the morning, yeah? come down, we'll say, yeah, here's a person who represents us as a nation, and old Liz Bowles out of her crown and shit, draped in diamonds and fur, like, fucking do one! I don't think of worse people to represent us, that's all I'm saying. Do you reckon the Queen eats sausage rolls? Not from garages. Do you reckon the Queen's ever done, like, a belly flop or a bomb in the pool, really splash Charles right in the eyes? Do you reckon the Queen's ever played football? Yeah, of course she has. She's a fucking Queen. What, like, gone on a run and proper nutmeg Charles? I just reckon she's got a wicked left foot and nobody knows about her. Maybe. Bonds it down the right, then switches it onto her left, leaving Charles on his back before curling past Harry into the top corner. It's possible. Of course it's fucking possible. She'll buy the game off. You can talk all you want about some nice old lady who speaks proper representing us, but all these fucks in power take the liberties because they can. They just wheel up the drawbridge and keep the gold inside for themselves. Well, she's good for tourism. Tourism? Shut up. The fucking 1% mark. What? I'm telling you, mate, there's people at the top getting away with murder. As soon as they get a little bit of power, they try and keep us down. Yeah, well, that queen's buried in bodies. Yeah, of course she hasn't. She get lackeys like us to do it. Like that fucking foreman, he's paying us half what he should. He doesn't even have to hire us. Yeah, well, he did, and we're working just as hard. Did he give you extra for the van? Exactly. My point, exactly. He's an arsehole. Not Mark. Seriously, mate. He's a fucking prick. All right, I've got the car. Branch is coming down. Yeah, it's all right, mate. You're all clear. You saw the look he gave you when he paid you. It said, go fuck yourself. Alan, you should say something. Mark, I need the money just as much as you do. Are you going to keep letting these pricks monk you off? Shut up and do some work, Alan. Whoa, wait, hold up. Whoa, 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 Fucking idiot, what did I tell you? No pissing around on my dogs! You came out of nowhere, mate. Yeah, you daydreaming fuckwit. Fuck! <laughs> Talk to me like that! Get off my fucking side, now! Sorry, right, right now! Fuck! Fucking con! Come on, fuck! Come on, Come on, Come on. What are you gonna show me? I can do it. Is that it? Is no. That... Well, I'm not as good as you, am I? Are you coming in for dinner? Oh, Daddy's busy, darling. Maybe another time, yeah? Oh, I love you, darling. See ya. Jules. Don't call me that. I don't know how much ballet stuff costs for you. That better not come from where I think it does. Of course not. I mean it, Mark. 
don't want you bringing trouble our way. It's from tree work. I promise. See you later. I don't see what the problem is. They've probably got work. Real work. Real money. We both need it. You don't want to work for them. Trust me. What's the worst that could happen? Another six years. Well, they owe you then. You owe me two of them. You didn't complain at the fucking time, did you? No. No. I don't think so, mate. I'm not having that, Mark. Well, they won't stop contacting you. If they want you, they'll just keep going. The more you ignore them, the more pissed off they'll get. You know as well as I do, Mark. This won't end well. On it, brother, because the clock is ticking. Tick, 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 tick. More than one. Oh, my motor's not good anymore. The last one wasn't. Oh, you had some trouble inside. Not the sort of thing we can help with, but we made sure everything else was comfortable. Good to have you back. Finally. I'm not back. Not like that. Well, then why the fuck are you here? MIT. I'd say it's a fucking right off. Easy, Tony. Just dropping. Oh my gosh, Mark! Famous. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Long time. Marky boy. Hey, let me just drop this off. I'll come check you, yeah? Cool. He's the kid. Ted? Oh, he does bits and bobs for me, this and that. Some of your old stuff. Bit young, isn't he? Well, so were you. Ted stepped up, sorted some trouble for me. I saw trouble. I'll let Caddy tell you. He wants to catch up. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Time, I'm not back. There's a decent contract with your name on it. Big numbers. Yeah, well, just let him know that I said... But you came back to tell me you're not coming back. I'm sure he'll understand. I'll be sure to let him know, Mark. What did I do? Hey, Mark, drop some for the crown, will you? What are you doing? bro! <laughs> when are you going to come round and see Pete? Anyway, it'll be good he missed you. I'm just a bit busy at the moment trying to find work here. Caddy will go fucking mental if he finds out you're working elsewhere. You know that, don't you? Pete, too, he'll kill you. I don't doubt It's the same yard, though, bruv. Come round. You'll never hear the end of it, have boy. Yeah. I ain't going anywhere. Yeah. Tell him I'll come round. Good seeing you, Shane. Good to see you, too, man. <laughs>
Oh, it's just a catch up, right? Respect me. Stop being such a monumental little pussy. Take the job, take the wedge, and then fuck off away from them all. To Spain. New life. How many times? I'm not ducking out on days. I'm not ducking it out. It ain't an option. But even if it is a job, you're a professional. How hard can it be? It's different now. I'm different. I'll do it then. I don't give a fuck. I don't even know you. Caddy don't even trust his own mother. You think he's gonna trust you? Don't mention my name then. Take the job. You set everything up. I'll do the rest. I got my hands dirty for you before. Yeah, and look where that got me. Oh, how many times are you gonna bring that up? I did everything you asked Shh. of me. Julia. No. No, I'm just a work, actually. Um. No, 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 I can get someone to cover. No. No, I won't be late. Thanks. Picking up Daisy. Bro, you better get a move on then. Daddy. Hello, sweetheart. Thanks for coming. Yeah, of course. My mum's out of town and everyone Jules. else is. Sorry. Julia. Julia, she's my daughter. I'm glad she calls. You start smoking again? Mm. Okay. Well, I'll meet you at the cafe at five, all right? Here's some cash, get some tea, okay, yeah? I got it. Oh, okay. Fine. Oh, I, I thought you should know. She's in the nativity. She's playing Gabriel. I'm sure she'll tell you all about it. You should come. Okay. Thanks. Take your backpack off the car, right, Danny? Be back in a second. You still doing food? You've got half an hour. Can I get a tea, hot chocolate? You got any fish fingers? Uh, yeah, with chips. Yeah, one second, honey. Yes, please. Got pie and mash, £2.50, if you're hungry. Uh, yeah, go on in. Peas with your uh, fish fingers? Daisy, do you want peas? Daisy, do you want peas? No. Six fifty then. Thanks. Now, why didn't you tell her about Cousin Ted? She's so cute. Look at that face. He's not really your cousin, honey. We just used to work at the same place together. Yeah, it was a proper family business, Daisy. And you never turn your back on family. Be your mark. Come here and say no properly. <laughs> Just following orders. Remember them? Actually, some of the family will be at the restaurant tonight, 9 p.m. They'd love to catch up, especially this time of year. Well, Merry Christmas, Daisy. And I really hope to see you again soon. won't let this continue into the new year, Caddy. They'll get rid of Southfields first, or maybe just hand it over. Sorry, could I ask you to put the cigarette out, please? Can you just give me my fucking usual, please? Thank you. Southfields, Nicky, you might have to go back up there, get the punters back in. It's not the girls, Caddy. They're all at the Aziz Club. Must be. So what's so fucking special about here, pussy? Punters like regulars. Junction's not looking too clever, neither. That's because they hit the coach up. We know that. What we don't know is 
Someone's given them information. Who? The local problem, Caddy. We've been through this. I don't know. What fucking job to know? I just look after the girls. Stop here. You're hurting me. Maybe it's you. Can't be an arsehole, Caddy. <laughs> you know what I love about you, Mickey? You're a bitch, but you're an honest bitch. We know how important to the organisation Mickey is. Head office are more concerned with how unstable it is. Unstable? I think everyone needs to remind themselves. I brought stability, and it's been like that for 30 years. Well, all good things can come to an end, Caddy. So get your house back in fucking order before they do. If it sounds like something viable, then we do this. It's only going to work if you do exactly as I say to the letter. No questions. I'll manage the whole job. Oversee everything, deal with everyone. You got that? You're only looking after this. Nothing else. Okay? You know you can trust me, Mark. <laughs> Nikki looks cosy with head office, don't she? See me, sunshine. I see them gorgeous chops of yours. Where you been, big boss? Did you forget where we were? Or did you just forget about us all together? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Anyone see what Santa brought you? It's a bottle of smelly, Ralph Lauren. That's what you used to wear, if my um, memory serves me right. I bought you a bottle of that after the first bank robbery we did together. Remember what I used to say to you? You've always got to smell good in such a filthy business. <laughs> do you remember that first job? Nah, I do. I was 14. Back then, you always a wise head on your shoulders. A lot smarter than some of them old timers. You know, you didn't have air on your bollocks. Kind words, Caddy. They were good days. Where the fuck did they go? I am getting pressured from all angles, Mark. It doesn't sit well with me. It puts me off me fucking ribs. Heavy's the head that wears the crown. Well, I've worn it too long for them Azzies to take it away from me. Azzies? That's your contract. Yeah. See, that's what I came to talk about. You used to want me for that job. Four years weren't enough. Four years at Her Majesty's pleasure. Not mine. But it was the car, the piece, or you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if my aunt had a cock, she'd be my uncle. But Pete was the one that saw it. I don't want to keep fucking going over this. Bad things have been going on around here. And seeing you've been banged up behind bars, I thought you was the one I could trust. I can't do that anymore, Caddy. All I'm asking for is bang, bang, bang. Done. We're square. You can go with my fucking blessing. Each of them wears a signet ring. This is important. I want all three rings on a necklace round my throat so everybody fucking knows who's in charge. Or free. <laughs> like I said, bang, bang, bang. Should be easy for a man in your abilities. And before you fucking kill them, I want to find out who's been helping them out. 15k each, five up front, the rest when you finish the job. Marky. If my family goes down, it won't be the only one.
Not interested, mate. Got enough dish cloths, thanks. Come in. Yeah. Very funny. Yeah, sit down, man. You want a cup of tea? Feel free, sugar. Yeah, yeah, just make sure you yeah, stop. Yeah, I remember. Sorry. Oh, you all right? As I live and fucking breathe. My old wingman. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you, man. Oh, you know. For a long time, I wanted to hey, say, it's okay. Time's done. You know, I got your back, right? Yeah, I should hope so. Anything you need? Yeah, yeah. You want a tissue or something? Yeah. <laughs> Changed a bit around here. New business, Marky. Yeah. Hmm. Well, if having a walk in there, knock on your door ten times a day means business. Yeah, we had to reshape a few things after Caddy threw his toys out of pram. Fat, paranoid fucker. Remember Big Rich? Big Dick the Bouncer. Hmm. So Caddy started getting some next information, telling him Nicky's been fucking someone else on the border. So he sends me and Big Rich in. When we got there, we decided it was a one-man job, so we flipped for it. I waited in the car and kept Doc. Rich must have decided he was going to hide in the wardrobe. Let them do their thing, then take him out after when they were asleep. Or maybe he was a pervert and wanted to watch, I don't know. What I do know is he didn't fucking kill him. Right? I'm sat there, and I see her come running out, clutching onto her clothes and bag, trying to get her car keys out. So I run over to her. She's hysterical, not making any sense. I take her keys away, put her in the back of my car, lock the door. Then peg it up to the flat. Big Rich is lying there. With a wardrobe over his broken neck. Dumb cunt's done himself a wrong and it's too big for the wardrobe when he's come out blazing. Fair dues though. Still hit the bloke. So, follow the trail to the bathroom. He's lying there. Just looking at me. Yeah, Bickies. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes. So, what's Caddy's problem with you then? Uh, calls me the next morning. Says Nikki's claiming I tried to have my way with her. Took the other two out myself. You what? Proper slapper. Yeah, she's just shifted the fact she's been fucking someone else onto me. Got him round her little finger. Got inside his paranoid head. Who's doing the work if you're in Russia? <laughs> well, that little kid, Ted. Yeah. Horrible little fucker. Declining standards. He'd be happy you've shown up. When there's a war going on, you need good soldiers. Hello? So what you can boys tell me about these? Mm. 
Oh, mate, it's a fucking suicide mission. Yeah, that's why I need your help. Yeah. This guy said he, he's a crazy bastard. Cut a punter's tongue out for spitting on one of his girls. Oh, that's a rumor anyway. Yeah. You still got a link with a chemist? What'd you need? Fine, I would make my job a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> this is heavy, Marky. That's why I'm here. My name don't come up once, not fucking once, you hear? Of course not. What are you doing for Christmas? No plans. Yeah? I'm going for Christmas dinner. Little thing we do, all the frills. Yeah, frills on the frills. I mean, it is, of course, if you want to spend time with us outside of business. Well, that depends. And whether your turkey's going to be sucking in or not. Ooh. Sucking it? Yeah, you know, moist and that. Yeah, I know what sucking it means, you pay me, and of course it's going to be sucking it. Well, I better bring the cranberry sauce, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Praise be. It's good to see you, man. Hey, Seamus. See you later, Marky. <clears throat> Good one. Got a spots, then. Huh? Spots. <laughs> Queen has turkey. Yeah. He's got the biggest one out of all of them. Stuffs it with diamonds and jewels. Charles is a Donna Chris has put in though. Put him Don. In his apron. <laughs> Making custard. Put in prints. <laughs> Harry's on cranberry sauce. What? Fresh? No. <laughs> Last minute from the garage. <laughs> Only place that's open. <laughs> Hello, Sunshine. Thought you weren't coming back. I'm not. Are you 
I've got a message for him. That was nice and quick. Seems you aren't that rusty after all. I never said I was. Of course not. What's your message? Wimpy. I am. Um... Breakfast on you? Yeah. Of course it is. Mark? Yeah? Welcome back. You haven't done all the talking. We'll just wait for the order, yeah? this do you know who I am you fucking moron yes Hassan question is do you know who I am a dead man walking when my brothers find you better than a dead man kneeling they'll find you you know wherever you run good it shows me looking doesn't it Listen, whatever they're paying, yeah, whoever they are, yeah, we could double it. Unfortunately, Caddy's offering something a bit more important than money. Caddy, shut it. <laughs> He's a drunken old man, paranoid. So why you took his coke? Business is booming. Why the fuck would we pull some low-level shit like that? I swear, uh, Caddy's losing it. But well, whatever he's paying, yeah, we'll triple it. Money ain't full. Oh, hang on a minute. If they can triple it. Yeah, man, triple it. Triple it. Bleeding pleasures. Uh, Always the same things. Now, somebody helped you to try and kill Caddy. Who? I'm not trying to kill anyone. You need to start talking, Hassan. I need some information. Otherwise, it's out of my control. I don't want to have to hurt you, but... I'll prune you like a fucking rose bush. Oh, oh, it's just a littlest cut that you're the best results. Eyelids. Fingers, tongue, just snip, snip, snip. Okay, okay, okay. Sick bastard. Okay. I know some guys. Alright, they came down to his club. Now, after the punters come out, followed him. Beat him up, told him to stay well clear. It's just a bit of friendly business competition, yeah? It's nothing Caddy hasn't done before, is it? Huh? Very good, Arsa. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Yeah, yeah. Who took the coke? What coke? Who took the oh, fucking coke? I don't know. I swear. I don't know what you're talking about. Last chance. Please. No, no. Ah! 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 Motherfucker! Oh. <laughs> I'll cut you a deal. Your life, for one name. The person who tried to kill Caddy, or his leak. David, 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 or all of the hell. Yeah, well, how can this help save their life? But who's gonna help save yours? I'll do anything. Give me a fucking no. name. It wasn't us. I don't know anything. Ah! Well, I'll try. No, 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 <laughs> Some people want souvenirs. The hit and disposal method. That's why the van's good. Do a job, clear up the mess at the end. Less people see, the better. Like a dog poo bag. Take it with you, dispose of it elsewhere. How, how much do you want? Name a price. Oh, it's just 
Same old script. Same daytime show. We all know how it ends, so why bother tuning in? I can get you a million. Yeah, no questions asked. I guarantee your safety. Yeah. Oh. You got, you got the wrong hit. Why don't you die with some fucking dignity? Sitting there twiddling my thumbs, and you've been out shopping for shoes. Fun, perfect gift for you. Where? Sports club. Alone? Yeah. How do you know where he was? I've done your own work. Who's this? The youngest one, Hassan. But what is this? It's Hassan's hand. How the fuck am I supposed to know without a ring? Who's this? This could be fucking anybody. Hang on. Is that the left one? Who oh, said the left? Look, the wedding ring. I said the fucking signet ring. Yeah, on the left. Whatever fucking side the signet was, it's the signet I fucking wanted. Can't you identify him from the wedding ring? Oh, what do you want to do? Ask his wife. Check with her. Is that Assan's hand? He's the right guy, trust me. Trust you, fuck you. This was supposed to be quick and clean. He saw me, no problem. What was you got for me? He said he was intimidating the pundits, but no names, just said Oliver or Sadiq would know. So someone who is possibly an Azzy has told you something that I already fucking know. You better get that ring back here, Sharpish. Because me and you can fool the fuck out, Marky. Be honest. You think I'm just good for the dirty work, right? Good. You got the wrong hand, Alan. Not good, mate. Not good at all. Hassan seemed to think it was a setup. Yeah, of course he did. But we'd be quite convenient, wouldn't we? You just come back and all. Let's not complicate things any more than they already are. Let's just get the job done properly. There's always going to be some breakage, Mark. You know that. We both know that. What took you? It was Cuddy. Oh, nice. He dragged me out of bed at the crack of dawn, and that's the hello I get. Never had you down as someone who didn't know his left from right, Marky. Just look in the box, Tony. Christ. You could have just brought the ring. What am I supposed to do with all these? Put them on eBay? Well, there can't be any question now, can there? Well, what did Hassan tell you? He said it wasn't them that hit you. And after what I put him through, if he knew anything, he would have said it. Who was it then? Doesn't know. Thinks Caddy's crazy, losing the plot. The less Caddy finds out, the more he imagines he sees. You want to watch he doesn't start looking at your mistakes like they're a plan against him. 
We start suspecting those, never ends well. Now, so we don't get off on the wrong foot by getting the wrong fucking hand again, don't get some sleep. You look like shit. <laughs> someone because Daisy's mentioned him a few times already. He's just someone I bumped into. If you've gone back to all that... Look, it's not like that. I can explain. Get in. I get home and buy money in an envelope. Where the hell does it come from, Mark? I just wanted to give you something before I left because I might not be coming back. What? What do you mean back might not be coming back? Mark, what the hell does that mean? Daddy! Daisy. But I can't get to see. Daisy, listen to your mum, hun. And when have you come up and read me story? Yeah, I'll be up. You go up now and I'll be no, up. No, I want Daddy to. And when the little mouse found the lion in the hunter's trap, he used little sharp teeth to gnaw through them until the great lion was finally free. I know you're trying, but you leave cash and I don't know who's going to come back looking for it. I worked hard for it. Sleeping in the van doesn't cost, does it? It doesn't even look like you've been sleeping at all. Okay. It's for the best. I also want to give her a present as well. You want to give it to her? Come here on Christmas Day. I don't know if I'd leave it here just in case. Just in case what, Mark? I suppose this means you're not going to come to the nativity after all. I suppose I have to break that news to her. I forgot. They're just some of the details, yeah? You just take it for now. You either give it to her in person or not at all. Your decision. Hey! Yes, Mark E. H. With a rhythm section. Okay, let's go. Peel a potato, boil a potato, mash the potato. Peel a potato, boil the potato, mash the potato. Peel the potato, boil the potato, mash the potato. Wash it out. Nice. And no man, when he have lighted a lamp, should cover it with a vessel. Or hide it under the bed. Rather, put it on a stand that they the enemy may see the light. Amen. Come on, Marky. Peel the potato, boil the potato, mash the potato. Nice. I peel the potato, boil the potato, mash the potato, right? Mash it out. Nice. I've had Tony on the phone, Mark. Yeah, why's that? You tell me. I didn't mention you. You're safe. What she's been asking about. Said things hadn't been smooth. Smooth? Job's going fine, thanks. Be careful, bro. They got their eye on you. <laughs> 
What the fuck is this, bro? You spoke about a race, right? What is this? Hey, don't fuck. Get the fuck out of here, man. Don't fuck around with me, you hear? Get the fuck out of my house, bro. Beijing in the hit game. You think? At least you get to work from home. Yeah, they come to you, but you still can't trust them. The stuff these days is much stronger, Marky. Yeah? Yes. Loads of different types of green now. Moon cheese, amnesia, euthanasia. Sounds heavy. Yeah, it is. Trust me. It's like why you cover the flat with perfume the whole time. <laughs> nah, that's just Seamus Tinder in his way around South London. <laughs> it's all about my stuff. When the bar's putting it behind your ears. and easy in a burger. I fucking love it. This is fucking great. I'll have a couple of dances. Look for sad air. You see him go to the toilet, you follow him. One spray. One spray? That's all you need. Remember to wear the mask. And if they frisk you and ask any questions, you just paint them a decorator. But don't forget a ring. Look, is that Ola? Yeah. Hey, sorry to disturb you, but... Sorry, what's your name? Jenny. Jenny, perfect. I'm from Building Maintenance. I've just come to check your smoke alarms and the vents in your kitchen. You want to take a sec? <laughs> you want to check my vents? <laughs> It's building maintenance. Who turns the fuck off? Oh, sorry. Gonna have to inspect my vents another time. That's okay. Um, do you mind just signing this for me, just to you know say that I knocked on and uh, stay the fuck quiet, or you die. So you just shot him? Yeah. So, you didn't get anything? Well, I wouldn't say that. Don't you, don't you. So? It ain't what it looks like. We're all innocent, ain't it, Key? 
Every fucker's innocent. He's blackmailing me to run the clubs. Blackmailing you with what? I ain't always been faithful to Caddy. No shit. You wanna end up like your mate? I told him about the cum drops. Gifts are plenty, Mark. Getting quite good at this now. Let's go back and get sad here. Sad, it finally turns up. I'm gonna spring the shit out of him. For fuck's sake! You need to be focused on this job, not flirting with your fucking ex who you can't stand you. What's your problem? You're not fully focused on my fucking problem. You're gonna get us all killed. Focus. What are you talking about? Fine. Your head's in two fucking places. Fuck's sake. Shit, go, go, man. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? All right. Been here long? Uh, no. Not long, no. All right. Just had a report of a break-in, you see? No, I ain't seen anything. You working around here? Yeah, just paying the house around the corner. Well, they're probably long gone, but uh, if you do see anything suspicious, then please let us know. Yeah, will do. This is a 2004 Ford Transit, 260. Short wheelbase. Yeah. I thought so, yeah. Travelled around Germany in one of these. 2006 World Cup. Brilliant. Didn't you go out on penalties? Yeah, more about a road trip, really. Yeah. Went everywhere. Uh, Kaiserslautern, Munsterland, uh, Frankfurt. Uh, all around Germany. Yeah, great times. Yeah. Solid as you like, aren't they, these? Yeah, anyway, sorry to be a stickler, but uh, this is actually a resident parking zone. Yeah, two old blokes had uh, a bit of a dispute. And uh, now council are making everyone pay, so... Dog back there or something? No, it's nothing back there. Oh, it's some special paints they can pop when they're mixed. No worries. Yeah. So you can't have a dog back there, see? No, if I had a dog, it'd be up here with me, mate. Honestly, it's the chemicals they can pop. I am going to have to have a look in the back of the van. Sure. Oh, what have you done, mate? Oh, just drive the fucking van. Fuck. You're not happy, Mark, mate. Fuck, fuck. Killed Ola. Got the ring. Even found out who the leak was. I think they called out. Well, I don't mean there's a word for it, but it's fucking good, yeah? It's a good result is what it is. You forgot what we talked about! Tranquilo, amigo. You need to calm the fuck down. I can only keep us safe if I know everything. I don't make out like you were in the dark. You know exactly what happened there, or did you forget? Yeah. It's exactly what Caddy wants. We're just ticking things off the list, mate. And this one is just a Christmas bonus. And you think they're gonna leave us and not her? I didn't sign up to this. They're supposed to be three brothers, not policemen and lovers. You're gonna get this killed, mate. Perhaps you should start doing the dirty work, man. Something. Say what? A girl. A girl? What are you up to, Marky, you dog? 
just for a line. What is it? Who is it? Please show us. Look, man, I'd like to help. No, 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 no. Mark, I want to help. Oh, God. Come on, help Mark. me with it. He's not going to be happy, man. I mean, who, who is she? Unless you know, right? You must be stupid or, or nuts. No, I know it's a bit, but I can sort it. She, she just needs to stay for one day because I've got the copter in the back of the van. You what? It was an accident, sort of. It wasn't meant to happen. You killed a cop? No, 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 no. My partner did. Your partner? What, is he crazy? I don't know anymore, to be honest. Are going to kill me for letting you bring this in here? I mean, that's my key. Shh. What the fuck's going on? What the fuck is this? I told him, I told him. No, no, no. Shut up. Look, it's just for one night. I saw me. She's alive. What? She's alive in that bin. One night, that's all. Well, he's not the copper, though, right? What? You kidnapped a policeman? No, dead. His partner killed him. Listen, man, what the fuck are you doing? She was there when he killed Ola with my partner. Yeah, his partner's gonna get you killed, bruv. And my mate, but this shit costs, you know how it goes. The only money I've got is for my daughter, Pete. You wanna get her to look after it, eh? Go on, get it out then. Okay, okay. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. Bring me five grand for my troubles. <laughs> guys are using Prius these days run on electric so you can roll up on a man they barely hear you before bang you blast them with a shotgun and away you go saving the planet at the same time yeah well I could do one of those actually what shotgun no I've got one for 500 no, quid okay okay 400 for you my boy Punk. I'm in a Prius I need some wheels just for a night oh, okay suit yourself it's a good shotgun though blast a guy's head clean off I don't doubt it Where's Cuddy? Why? It's a bit of trouble, Tony. Load in the back. Yeah. Not the sort you wanted. I see. OK. Ted! Sort the scrap in the back shellfish, Ted. I know it's bad breakage, Tony, but... This puts me in a very unhealthy situation, Mark. I just need a couple of hours, and then I can sort the whole mess out. OK. OK, let me see what I can do, all right? Yeah, Roxy, Tony, you still got that polo? Okay, yeah. I'll call you when he's on his way. Sorted. I never wanted any of this. I just wanted Daisy and Jules. Secure, you know? Safe. Looked after. What's she like? Daisy. I've never known anything so pure, Tony. She's an angel. You'll get to spoiler when this is all wrapped up. Not long now. I'd die an happy man if I knew she was going to be all right. Sorry, Mark. There's only so much I can do for you. time, Marky. Ed? Sam? Looking well, Bodge. Oh, cheers, Marky. Been doing some spin classes. Like the pad, Marky. So you bought your toys with you from the lonely bin? In case the van breaks down, Cuddy. <laughs> You've done better than I thought, Mark. Yeah. 
Well, I didn't think you'd be up for it. You still sent me anyway. Well, you've got time to get thanked for that. So who's this partner we're hearing about? We don't know. It's just someone I met inside. Has he got a name? Alan. And where's Alan? He's gone. Gone where? Let me finish the job. Let you keep fucking it up. Tell me, when did killing people become so fucking hard, Marky? Do you know the biggest gang in London? Not us. Not the Aziz. Not even head office. Where's the Metropolitan fucking Police, Marky? And now one of the little fucking piggies when they were, do you think they'll be shaking down? You brought him here? So my fucking garage! I bought you a book to make my life easier. You don't know your fucking left from your right. You don't know your ass from your right. You're a fucking joke, man. I can fix it. I don't think so, mate. No more lost chances. Shit dip as he's gone underground. You're staying with us till he pops his head up again. In the meantime, you might remember where you dropped your partner off. Get him out of my sight. <laughs> knew they'd cut their losses once they'd used you. I knew you'd be trouble. That show your face, didn't you? You stay away. Well, you wanted to have your cake and eat it, as usual. To fuck it up, didn't you? I was always going to end in tears, Mark. You knew that the same way I did. I'd done a job like this back in the day with my eyes closed. I didn't need you. Didn't need anybody. Oh, but you did need me, obviously. Because here I am. <laughs> no more running, Mark. And what exactly? Am I running from? The truth. Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. What's going on? Open yourself up to the truth, Mark. Mm. You'll feel 12 stone lighter. Control everything, Mark. Life's just not like that. Just like the room we first met in, right? Who are you? Ah, uh -huh, you know who I am, Mark. Don't play that game with me. You are not me. <laughs> Correct. You are me. But you got me way fucking wrong if you think I'm gonna stand here and watch you give up on us. We go do it. Yeah, we do. 
You can't be around me. That's why I've been telling you to go to Spain. See her straight and get away from her all. Safer for her, for you, for everyone. All my money to stay the fuck down, okay? Do you think Abby will be fine with me? Don't you do that? Brownie points. Oh, Jesus! Oh, my leg! Monkey! To wake up! You was out. How you doing, Mark? Little Dick. Richard. Big Richard's son. Oh yeah, Richard. You're growing up, ain't you? Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about your dad. He was always straight with me, decent. Thanks, Mark. Let's carry a bar. Yeah, gone up. I'm gonna go buy yourself some fags. Disappear for ten minutes. Eh? Go on. Tony, I hope you don't mind. He's like a fucking bad smell. Hands up. Get out. Now. Over here. Facing me. Fucking code. Only sixty six.
This is my money, Cuddy. Because I'm going to finish the job, and then we'll be all square. I'm going to do exactly what you ask, which means Jules and Daisy stay safe. Like you promised. Sure. As if you were fine, silly. Don't worry about that. He's going to find them. Talk about it. No. Ain't any more girls on you? What's that? Bloody hell, Mark. This isn't that dodgy old thing Tony's always trying to sell, is it? Just let me in, Shapes. What else you got on you? What's in there? Wow, now that really is dangerous. Kill a dinner in an instant, you can keep that. Hey, look who's turned up. And look what he's brought. Bruh, the turkey's already dead, you know, Marky. Hope you're hungry. We've got a feast here, could feed the 5,000. I'm hungry, yeah. Nice one. <laughs> Joker. Weren't expecting you just yet. Where is she? Bedroom. Time, Marky. It's about to dish up. What's going on? Well, you're not as smart as you think you are. You were followed here by one of Sadit's lot. We had no choice. Could have got us all fucking killed, you know. This looks cozy, Nicky. Regular thing, is it? So many questions, eh, Marky? What is the answer? We were making no money under Caddy. He blamed me for Big Rich. Taught me off a gig I worked 20 years loyal. Started treating me like a maggot. Making all sorts of accusations about me and Nikki and her, Marky. Shall we? Yeah. I thought it was Nikki making the accusations. You know what I mean. Pass the sprout, Seamus. <laughs> really? Tastes like dog farts. Eat a lot of dog farts. That's funny. Caddy only gave a fuck about his clubs and his girls. I saw an opportunity. To kill him. To make money. That's all this is, bruv. We're just trying to make our way. Partnership with the Aussies. So it was you that stole Caddy's coat. Very clever, Marky. Coke, crack, weed, whatever. Doesn't discriminate, doesn't pick a side. They thought we were involved in the other hit. So we told them about you. Took a lot to convince them, Marky. Hell of a lot. We promised Sadat a gift today. He's on his way to collect. <laughs> Turkey would be so succulent, did you, Marky? Yeah. Nah. Have you even tried it? No, nah, fuck that. I don't want jam on my meat, thanks. Because you're fussy about anything on this table? Yeah, I do vodka cranberry. I just don't fancy it on my meat. Come on. Put a cracker with me, Nicky. Not unless you try the sauce. Don't be a slapper and a bitch. I'm on it. Rush, rush. Stop arguing. My right, dad. Yes. Pitch. Well, I'm gonna need a crown if I'm gonna continue. So, thank you. Fucking bitch. Oh yeah, you can't. Come on, Nicky. 
Your name's a bitch. No, it's a, it's a joke. You try some of that sauce, now, Pete. Fucking bitch. Pete, you know the rules. Seriously? You slap her, ain't joking. Hi there. I'm back. Yeah, it's right. You happy now? Try on a me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, still run. Happy now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Laughing about. Remember that day I got arrested, Nicky? Oh, no, Mark. My Nicky, would you pay? Hey. Yeah. The day you delivered that car late, I ended up getting nicked. Sad times, what about it? Who were you fucking in the car that morning, a major late? You don't have to answer that. I knew it was you, Nicky. All along. Why do you think I brought you here? You think I trusted this pair with you? I knew exactly what was happening with you and Pete. You think I'm here by accident? You think all this is fake? It wasn't just about the money with the Aziz, was it? You didn't just want what you felt you'd earned. You wanted them and Caddy to go to war, to clean each other out, until you were the last man standing. Should I say woman? Clever. Clever girl, are you, Nicky? She played you like a fucking cello, Pete. You were just waiting for head office to hand over the keys, weren't you, Nicky? Give a fuck if it's her in the process. Oh dear. You three don't look too clever at all. Maybe it's something you ate. <coughs> that crown worth it, was it? Marky, Marky, right on time, just like you said. Say it didn't know what hit him. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. We did it. Oh, you still got it, Marky. I'm surprised. You got yourself a Christmas bonus. Well. It's you, Marky. Merry
Oi. No sleeping on the job. Come on. Get up. Yes, you can get the fuck up. Forget Spain, Marky. I've got to get you to a hospital. No hospitals. A Julia sent me. They can't see me like this. She could help. We're going to the airport. <coughs> All right. But we're going to a hospital as soon as we get there. Yeah. Okay? Sure. You think Daisy will come and see us? Maybe. <laughs> that would be nice, eh? Maybe she could bring some sausage rolls. She could. She could. Why don't they have them over there? Don't know, mate. I've never been. I thought that's why you loved it so much. Nah. Just seemed like a nice fool, you know? Sit by the pool in the sun. Chill. You get one of them black balagates. Or one you can sell. But that is the first thing I'm buying as soon as I get there. No fucking about me. <laughs> you're gonna queen to been Spain. Yeah, of course she has. She loves it. What? I got the San Miguel's in. We cook breakfast. Bit sunburned because she overdid it on the beach. Bit of charred sand, innit? <laughs> Hang on. Don't they have a king of Spain? Yeah, I think they do, though. You reckon that's why she goes? The little bird. He's having them with kimchi. Of course she is. Everyone loves to get a bit on holiday, don't they? Good on the girl. The queen can't get any wine when the rest of us come. <laughs> Too right. <laughs> Dear Daisy, here's your pony. I'm sorry you can't have a real one, but he loves you just as much. I made it just for you to enjoy this Christmas and many more. I look forward to you coming and visiting me in Spain one day. You and your mum. But till then, whenever you want to see me or if you start to miss me, you just look up at that sun shining and I'll be looking at the very same thing. Because that's how close we are to one another, at all times. I love you. Always will. Dad. <laughs>